I did not accuse you. I asked a question. Representative Collins yesterday suggested that the Democrats are doing this simply because they don't like the guy. I think it's an important point. The president is a coward when it comes to helping uh, our, our kids who are afraid of gun violence. I think he is cruel when he doesn't deal with the, the helping our dreamers, that, of which we're very proud. I think he's in denial about the about the uh, climate crisis. However, that's about the election. This is about the elect. Take it up in the election. This is about the Constitution of the United States and the facts that lead to the president's violation of his oath of office. And as a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. Please don't characterize the strength that I bring to this meeting as the leader of the House Democrats who just won a big victory. Elections but have me, consequences, Mr. Just, President. Let me just say, that's right. and let that's let why the country this. is doing so well. So I walked into the cabinet room. You had the uh, the group, crying Chuck, crazy Nancy. I tell you what, I've been watching her, and I have I have been watching her for a long period of time. She's not the same person. Uh, she's lost it. This week, the president has admitted to asking the president of Ukraine to take actions which would benefit him politically. The action of the Trump, the actions of the Trump presidency revealed the dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security, and betrayal of the integrity of our elections. But we must reject the politics of revenge resistance and retribution, and embrace the boundless potential of cooperation, compromise, and the common good.